ladies and gentlemen, it's star time. You put your hands together, please, for the stars of our show, the fabulous Candlewick Green. this sign displayed hospital. I rushed up to the girl on reception. I says, I've just found this here in the middle of the road. To which she replies, Sir, this is not a medical hospital. It is a mental hospital. I said, I know that. I know that, but listen, this is off its head. I said, I'm sorry, John. But now, but the young man who wants to be a big pop star and his great group will come all the way from Bonnet, Scotland. The great group, the Gay Gardens. Yes, sir. See, Jimmy, the Gay Gardens are the one and only Frankie Goes to Fleetwood. Let's take a second. Oh, 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 oh.
Mrs. Leyland in the audience, and I love it. Oh, well, Chris Roberts, I'd like to say to all the girls, to all the girls on holiday in Sunny Blackwell, what a beautiful day, what a beautiful day for running out, filling your tights, full of ice cream, <laughs> sticking the cherry on your head and going, <laughs> how's that for a Nicaragua glory? What a beautiful day for all the lads tomorrow, all the lads run down to the promenade here in Blackpool, throw a bucket of white paint over the seagulls and shout, how do you like it? But, <laughs> a quick news flash, but the local police station thieves have stolen, they've stolen the toilet from the local police station, and the police are very upset because they've got nothing to go on. Uh -huh. but, later in the show we'll have that great pop group, Johnny Purple and the Brackets. They'll sing their new song called Squeeze Me. Ah, the pimps. Follow the show now. The man is really going to bowl you over. The one and only Jimmy Cricket. Talk to you everybody. Ha ha! I went to the doctors. I said, Doctor, come here. I keep thinking I'm a wig one on the TV. He said, You know you have trouble, Jimmy? I said, What? He said, You're too tense. <laughs> and folks, my father had a paper shop. He did. But it blew away. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, come here, this morning. I went in that Queen's Hotel across the way there. Yeah, I did. And a manager in there had a packet of dance on top of the television set. I said, why have you got a packet of dance on top of your television set? He said, because Jimmy has no aerial. <laughs> Did somebody just come up? <laughs> and folks, yeah. I went to prison once. I was in there for lightning fires. They called it arson. And when I came out, I got a job on a building site. And the foreman said to me, What did you go to prison for? I said, I was in there for arson. He said, Well, I'll tell you now, there'll be no arson around here. <laughs> She had a five pound note stuck in this year, and a five up stuck in that year. That's right, she had a head for money. 
And he said to the men, but I said, look here, boy. There's a woman standing here now with a five pound note stuck in this year. And a fiver stuck in that year. He said, I know, I know. It says, Mrs. Jones, man. She's always ten pound in her ears. Yes, what's your name inside the training dogs with Barbara Woodhouse? with Barbara Woodhouse. And as you can see, we have Wee Willie the dog here. Now you're probably wondering why we call him Wee Willie. Well, it's perfectly simple. <laughs> oh, Willie, you naughty dog, stop that. Did you think that was funny? There we go, yes. <laughs> Plenty for everybody. Woo! <laughs> is, is it warm tonight? Yes. <laughs> And that's why we call him Wee Willie, you see. Now, is it possible, everybody, to teach Willie to play football in 10 seconds flat? Well, we believe it is with good training, so in 10 seconds, Willie will be playing football. Ah. Uh, also, you see, also... <coughs> I'm not feeling myself tonight. Also... A gentleman by the name of Jack Russell says his dog recently died of flu. I said, that's impossible, dogs don't die of flu. He said this one did it flew under a bus. <laughs> then another lady says her dog keeps barking and chasing everybody on a bike. How can she stop him? I said that's simple. Just take the bike off him. Now how do dogs? How do dogs get their names? Well, first of all, the sheep dog of the name is the collie. Could you bring on the collie, Mr. Johnson, and show everybody the collie, please? Yes. Doesn't eat any meat at all, just vegetables. And the most popular dog in Blackpool this year, of course, must be a hot dog, yes. <laughs> and the famous dog in the world is the one and only the legendary Rin Tin Tin. <laughs> now, a broad also. Oh, this Cocker Spaniel. The Cocker Spaniel. Yes, could you bring up the Cocker Spaniel and show the ladies? Because the Cocker Spaniel will say, no, no, put that away. <laughs> Don't worry, dear, it's only a puppy. Now, you see. <laughs> Well, it could be a great day, and I don't know. Now, you see, people often say, if I carry on talking to dogs, one day I will turn into a dog myself. This is silly because... I think I'm looking good too. 
And if you think I'm looking good, I'm not trying to say it, ladies, you're looking good. How about looking, ladies and gentlemen? That's fine. Let's have a look at the audience here tonight. There's nothing like a good audience, ladies and gentlemen. And you're nothing like a good audience, I want to tell you that. But ladies and gentlemen, some lovely ladies in the audience, and I'd love to have you for fun in a pink dress. How are you doing, darling, all right? Don't you worry, darling, I'm not going to hurt you. Not unless you want me to. Get me! Ladies and gentlemen, she's wearing a lovely dress. But the dress later, first of all, <laughs> she's got a beautiful hairstyle, ladies and gentlemen. She's got a lovely hairstyle. I like your hairstyle, darling. Did you come on a motorbike? <laughs> And she's wearing a lovely dress as well, a beautiful dress. Isn't it wonderful what you can do with an old coat? No, no, I don't want to tell you that. But ladies and gentlemen, I have to come on here to be funny, as you're probably getting it by now, get me! I'll come on and bring on the next act, and that's what we're going to do, cobblers. The next act comes all the way from the USA, the other side of Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, he's not well known in Great Britain, but he's very big down under. Get me? The one and only Boy George!
smile A thing that I could show you That what we have is still worthwhile Don't you know that love is like a trail That just keeps unraveling But then it ties us In your eyes I found the answers To my questions In your eyes I can see the reasons Why our love's alive In your eyes We're drifting safely back to shore I think I Finally learn to love you She warned me that life changes And no one really knows Whether time would make us strangers Or whether time would make us grow Even though the winds of time will change In a world where In your eyes I found the answers To my questions In your eyes I can see the reasons Why our love's alive In your eyes We're drifting safely back to shore Great. 
We can see that young algae. Can't we, lads? Yes. <laughs> Look at the size of Alan's loaf. If you think this is big, you should have seen the size of his donuts. Hey, well, listen. We were very, very poor in our family. We were, missus. We were very, very poor. We were that poor that my dad had to buy all our clothes from the army surplus store. We were very embarrassing going to Sunday school, dressed up as a Japanese admiral. Our son. And listen, we were that poor that my mum couldn't afford laxatives. No. She used to sit us on the potty and tell us ghost stories. I mean, Mum didn't like me when I was a baby. Oh. She didn't. <laughs> she didn't like me one little bit. Come on, she must have liked you one little bit. She didn't like me at all, Mister. No. But did she ever buy you anything? Well, she did buy me a rattle once. Well, there you are then. She had a snake on the end of it. <laughs> and I took a bucket into me grand the other night. Say, grand, give that a big kick, please. Say, what do you want me to kick that for, son? That's what my dad said, if you kick the bucket, I'll get a new bike. <laughs> yeah. And when I was a baby, I was in the army. You can't be in the army when you're a baby. I was in the infantry. Oh, oh I lost my army in the army. I lost my army in the army. I lost my army in the magician when I found it in the grave. Hold it. <laughs> Will you stop making a silly noise? No, I'm not making a noise, mister. I'm singing. You can't sing. Oh, yes, I can. Rubbish. I've sang on records. Not with that silly voice you have. I have. You never have. I've just released one. <laughs> I think it was an album. <laughs> What's all that now? What, what is it? Yeah. Oh, Bobby, yeah, no, she's bleeding. So did I. It's not. Oh, dear. It's not bleeding. No wonder nobody likes you. What do you mean, nobody likes me? I've got plenty of friends. Not in this world, you haven't. No, I haven't got any friends in this world. But I have got a friend in another world. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who's that then? E.T. You don't know E.T.? E.T.'s my mate who he is. Yes, you know who he is. E.T., where are you? Show me the way to go home. Oh, I'm always drunk again. Listen, E.T., you like a drink, don't you? Do you ever go to them bars on Mars? And those Mars bars? Mars bars. Hello, Len Smith. Hello, Len Smith. Hello, Joe Walsh and family. <laughs> Hello, Uncle John Copley. Hello, yeah. He's sponsored. Listen. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, Jake. <laughs> Listen, did you know E.T. was a thief? He's like fainted, yeah? Bye bye, E.T. He's got to go, guys. E.T. is ready. Yeah. I eat baked beans for breakfast. I eat baked beans for tea. beans all the time because they are good for me. That's why I wear short trousers. The flavour floods out. If you like to eat baked beans and love them with all on your heart, don't forget the more you eat, the more they make you fat. Oh, I'll find the one more and then I saw you think 
Sims game on. No, I'm not silly. I'm not silly. I'm a judge. <laughs> no, I'm not what silly. What are you there? I'm a magic scarecrow. I'm a magical. You're a magical philanthropist. Well, I will. I'll do my trick. Do you want to see my trick, everybody? Yeah. Do you want to see my trick, everybody? Yeah. All right, you wait here. Don't go away. I'll go and get me magic trick. You wait here. Don't go away. So come on now, Izzy Wizzy! No, it doesn't work, Izzy Wizzy! Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's, look, oh, it's magic! Oh, oh, look at that, oh, it's magical!
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you've been a, been a fabulous audience. And it's been our pleasure to entertain you this evening. Having said that, we'd like to do a special number, just especially for you. And now, the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friends, I'll say to you, I'll stick my kiss, which I'm certain. Back to the 1960s, 
In fact, in 1963, when a group took over the whole world by storm and they came from Liverpool, they were a group known as the Fab Four, John Paul, Jim and Ringo. Who were they? Who were they? You guessed it, of course, they were the one and only, yes, the Fab Four. <laughs>